Hi everyone, Karen here. Today I have a project for you that's part Photoshop tutorial, part DIY, part life hack. It is a back to school project to dress up your binders to look like your favorite books. But before I get to the project, this video is actually a part of the First and Then vlog tour. First and Then is a YA book coming out in October. This is an advanced copy. It's written by Emma Mills, who you might know here on YouTube as Elmify. She's been a friend of mine for years and her book is so good. So today I have a DIY for you based on the book cover. Basically the idea is that we're going to take the covers of some of our favorite YA books and we're going to edit them in Photoshop so that you can use them as a binder cover for all of your classes at school. So this one I turned into health and fitness and I turned the author's name into the teacher's name. I have a whole bunch more examples, but first I'm going to show you how to make this one. So the first thing we're going to need is a high quality image of the book cover. If you already own whatever book cover you're working with, you can definitely just scan it in, but if you go to Google Images and type in the title of the book and cover and only search for large images, most book covers are already in pretty high quality on the internet. Now this book cover is pretty easy to work with because to erase the title, all we have to do is paint over it in white. But now to change around the words, we're actually going to select each letter separately and copy and paste it onto a new layer. And then we can just rearrange all of the letters as if we're writing a ransom note to spell out our new class subject. Of course we're not going to have every single letter that we need, so to make the L in health just grab the H and then erase the part that makes it an H. Why don't I know what that's called? I'm the typography person. <laughs> and then for the A in health, we can actually turn the E upside down and then go into the liquify tool and just kind of push it around, pull it around a little until it looks like an A. Now we just have to resize all of the letters and add the correct color overlay to them and just put the new text in place on the book cover. For one more touch, I'm going to change the author's name into the teacher's name. But if you don't want to do that, you can always change it to your name to label the binder as yours, or you can remove it altogether. For this one, I'm just going to find a similar looking font. I'm going to use Mrs. Eves, and I'm going to type my new text in all lowercase at the correct size. And that's all there is to it. Now you just need to print it out and then trim off the edges and then slip it into the front cover of your binder. And I think that looks super cool. So I actually made a whole bunch of these. I made five but I only had three binders, so these are just kind of floating around on their own. So let me just go through a few tips on how to make some of the other ones. The first tip is to find a book cover where it's really easy to get rid of the title. For example, Fangirl was also on a solid colored background, so it was really easy to just paint over all the text. For this one, I actually just rewrote out the title in a font called Autumn Rats, which is fairly similar to the original Fangirl lettering, and then I just kind of had to move the characters around a little so that they were still sitting on the letters. And for one more little touch, I changed Kath's laptop instead of saying a novel to say a class. The Fault in Our Stars is such an iconic book cover and it's so easy to edit. For this one I just painted over the original text and then built the words I wanted to write out of pieces from the original letters on the cover. Whereas for Mockingjay I could just download the Hunger Games font and then write out whatever I wanted. So I just changed mine to say history and I gave it the same outline as on the original cover. And then finally I did basically the same thing with the cover for I'll Give You the Sun which of course I changed to be art class. I just covered up the original title with this background color and then retyped out the name of the class I wanted in a similar looking font universe and I just added that same aqua shadow. So I think these binder covers are so fun and they let you celebrate your love of YA while still keeping track of which binder goes with which class. If you wanted to take it one step further you could also edit the book spine and the back cover and put those on your binder as well so if you do that I would love to see. But if you do want to try this out for yourself I'm actually gonna have a blog post linked 
right down below where you can download the high quality JPEGs of all five of the covers that I made, as well as the Photoshop documents separated out into layers and links to any of the fonts that I used. So you can change the text so that they're for different school subjects than the ones that I picked, or you can change the teacher's name, or you can edit it however you like. So I hope you guys liked this DIY Photoshop tutorial sort of life hack sort of thing. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions. And that painting just fell down. Alright, I'll get that in a minute. As I was saying, please let me know in the comments if you have any more questions about how I made these, or if you have any other ideas on other book covers that could work really well for this project. Make sure to keep First and Then on your radar until October when it comes out. I'm going to link to Emma's YouTube channel and all of her social media right down below, so I'm sure she's going to keep you updated on everything to do with this book. But if you aren't already subscribed to Elmify, like, what? What's wrong with you? She's one of the few YouTube channels where literally as soon as I see that she's posted a new video, I drop everything to go watch. So as I said, this video is part of the First and Then vlog tour, so a whole bunch of awesome YouTubers are all making videos kind of based around this book. T. Michael Martin's video went up yesterday, you can watch that right here, and you can also keep an eye on the playlist right here, which in the next few days will have videos from Josh Sunquist, Nanalu, Rosiana Hals Rojas, and One Time Stories. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're new here and you liked what you see, please press subscribe for even more awesome DIYs in the future. I'm just going to be over here admiring beautiful new binder. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye everyone!